something dirty about that. I can't say I can only speculate. You know, everybody says that they do this shit just to get gun control. To, you know, I don't want to believe that we're actually, our government's actually doing stuff like that. Yeah. Even though it certainly is feasible, and I know a lot of people do believe it, yeah. I just don't want to believe that they would do that. Even though I don't have a whole lot of faith in my government, I love my country, and I just don't want to believe that our leaders would do that, purposely kill people just to enact laws. Yeah. I, I tend to be someone who's very concerned that that is part of what's going on. You know, it certainly sure is possible. Like I said, I just don't want to believe it's yeah. real. I'm not saying it isn't. Yeah. I just don't want it to be real. I think part of it is if, if that is real, like, we're, we're done. I mean, it's beyond done <laughs> if, if we're in Well, it's, it's, it's puppet masters doing what they do. You know, they've decided that America's gone as far as it needs to go, and they're going to change it. There's a lot of truth to that, too. I mean, the Bloombergs and the Soros and people like that who have enough money to, to bankrupt countries, you know, to manipulate things and, and cause, you know, tremendous havoc, they can do shit like that. Yeah. I mean, Soros is a fucking evil man. He's a Bloomberg for that fact. With all this gun control you see, Pat, that's all Bloomberg's money pushing this shit. That's crazy. I, what I can't wrap my head around is like for there to be a, a, a long running conspiracy like that. We're talking multiple lifetimes of, of human beings, you know what I mean? Or at least at least adult lifetimes. So what 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 it would take to be effectively doing what I always you know, conspiratorially believe they're doing is hard for well, me to even wrap at, my head around. I mean, look at all the look at all the shit with Comey and all these uh, you know top level FBI people. That so fucking dirty, you know. Who would have ever thought that that would happen in America? But it did. So just from that reason alone, you have to give some credibility to the to fact the that, yeah. that there is manipulation and puppet masters in the whole deal. Because how does this shit happen otherwise? But you know, you start saying that, and then somebody might rig red flag you. <laughs> it's 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 all it's all a vicious little fucking box that's been made to put. They got us people in a, in a bad spot. Yeah, they got us too. Yeah, that's why I keep telling people I'm glad I'm old. I'm going to this shit for a whole bunch longer. Yeah. You guys like you, yeah. you got a lot of you got a lot of trouble in front of you. I hear you. I mean, I figure I got maybe 10, 15, 20 years if I'm lucky. You know, and uh, from what I've seen happen <laughs> in the last 15 or 20 years of uh, yeah, and if it keeps going like exponentially, that, yeah, I don't even want to be here no more. Costa Rica's looking better and better. <laughs> Is there a way to prepare for governmental yeah, overreach when it comes to red flag laws? Um, you know, red flag laws are just really kind of a double-edged sword. I mean, the obvious thing is everybody, you know, feels that, well, yeah, if somebody's a problem, we need to say something about it. But how ripe for abuse is that? Yeah. You know, and that's my concern with it is, you know, you get a, say you got a couple that's getting a divorce, you know, and the guy owns a bunch of guns, yeah. you know, and hey, maybe that guy is going through a lot of stress and his doctor prescribes him some, uh, prescribes him some antidepressants or something yeah. to be on for a month, you know? And the uh, wife turns him in for it. He loses all of his guns. Yeah, yeah my husband, he's crazy. He's taking antidepressants. He's, he, I don't know. He needs, he needs to take his guns. Boom, they're gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with nobody, no questions asked, the dude yeah. doesn't even know The whole what Fourth happened. Amendment thing is just kind of right out the door there. You know, and, and you know, you got all the people that are trying to make excuses for well, you got to be able to do it. You got to save this. You got to save this. You got to save that. Well, I got news for you, folks. The, the biggest number of gun deaths are not coming from school shooters. As horrible as it is, it is horrible. But in reality, in the city of Chicago, you got that many people killed every weekend. You know, and nobody's raising a big stink and passing laws to stop that. As a matter of fact, how many laws does Chicago have already? And ain't none of them working. And this ain't gonna make any difference either. Yeah. So it's just I'm with you. So how do we prepare for that? I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's it's almost like there's not there's not. I, I am almost under well, the you know, that weren't they? Social media is a big deal. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, what you say on social media could be a red flag. Yeah, you absolutely. You know, I mean, yeah. I'm a pretty contra I'm a pretty outspoken guy. Yeah. You know, I've said some pretty outlandish things. A lot of times I might have been joking. Sometimes I might have been partially serious. Yeah. But some people can tr can read some of that stuff and construe it as much worse than what it really is. Yeah. But I, you know, with the with with the whole host of red flag laws and all that new shit coming in right now, it's just there's going to be abuse. There's going to be problems. 
and people just don't see it coming. They're just looking for that quick fix to stop the, the school shootings or whatever, the mass shootings in Walmart, whatever it is this week. You know? yeah. And the reality is, any given weekend in Chicago, you got just as many people killed. Nobody seems to care about these poor black folks killing each other. You know, uh, you think they might honor? You think you think that might maybe want to look at the real problem? Yeah. Right. Uh, nobody wants to see anybody get shot, and that's perfectly horrible when somebody goes into a building full of unarmed people and just starts mass killing them. Yeah. That's a bad thing. I get it, but it ain't the biggest problem we have with guns. Yeah. And you know that may sound. Um, they sound a little mean to say that like that, but it's true. I'm, I'm completely with you. I'm actually of the belief, I'm actually, and I don't say it often because I can get myself, I can get some people really pissed off at me, but I, I don't think these mass shootings are as big of an issue as they're made out to be, and I'm not, I'm not reducing well, they're certainly the severity, sensationalized. severity of them. You yeah. know, the severity... But the, they are sensationalized yeah, a lot. I mean, there is... Um, it, there's people that I know from, from countries like Canada and stuff uh, that I interact with a lot, and they are absolutely under the belief if they cross the border, they're, they are under the risk of, of being fired upon. They're, they're that convinced, and I'm like, yeah. you guys are uh, are listening to the same news a lot of our people are, but you know, it's, it's a really odd thing because... We had less gun violence when we had less laws. The more Correct. laws we have, the worse what gun violence has got. That leads me to the thing that gun control only increases violent crime. Yeah. Because the people that are criminals don't care. Yeah, I had a discussion. I was gonna. I'm gonna rob the store. Oh wait, I can't because it's illegal for me to use a gun. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. They think like that. Yeah. Oh shit, I can't bring my gun in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was talking to somebody about that the other day, and my point was, okay, first of all, like they always want to say that the the, the gun owning right needs to take responsibility and become part of this conversation on gun control. And I'm like. Do you realize that every single piece of gun control has been a sacrifice made by gun owners already? Yeah. And now you're telling me that the gun violence is worse than ever and you want to take them. How does that compute? You know, it's like, that's that's insanity. To me. Well, I mean, you know, to go back to that California case of the guy that was, in my opinion, wrongfully arrested, you know, at the same time, you had that illegal alien who shot Kate Steinle. Yep. Clearly, at least manslaughter, they couldn't convict him on any of that stuff. The only thing they convicted him on was felon in possession of a gun, and that got conviction over. just got thrown out. I just saw that this week. That I awesome. mean, the, the the insane are running the asylum, man. Yeah. I mean, what that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So a licensed manufacturer of firearms has to return his bump stock, and Kate Steinle's killer can kill her and walk away, and he's not even a citizen. Yeah. We have, uh, we've fully gone off the rails here. Oh. Wow.